WNST, Towson, Baltimore, and AM 1570. We are BaltimorePositive.com. Back at it this week. We're going to be doing the Maryland Crab Cake Tour on Friday. We're going to be at Pappas. Looking forward to that. They're celebrating 50 years. We're going to have a great celebration on Friday. Got some great, great guests stopping by, including Mike Bordick bringing world champion. Adam Kalarik over from Catonsville. We're going to be up in uh, Cockeysville from 2 until 5 on Friday. It is all brought to you by the Maryland Lottery. We'll be letting ourselves play, giving away some Raven scratch-offs. Also, our friends at Window Nation. I got my Window Nation. I'm rocking my my Thanksgiving American flag here as well. You can reach them at 866-90-NATION. And, of course, our friends at Goodwill. Um, very, very important. Next Wednesday, we're going to be feeding over 3,000 people at the Baltimore Convention Center. Less fortunate folks. We uh, serve some turkey, some cranberries, some pumpkin pie, amongst other things. Maybe even some wine, cinnamon ice cream or some pumpkin ice cream. But if you want to help us out, throw me a note. Ness at BaltimorePositive.com. My wife and I are going to be rolling our sleeves up if we have such things on Wednesday morning. It is the day before Thanksgiving, feeding lots of folks, all courtesy of our friends at Goodwill. And Hannah Grotti is here from Wise Markets. And Hannah, I bet you don't even know this. Those will be wise turkeys that we'll, we will be serving uh, next Wednesday in conjunction with our friends at Goodwill. So I take one partner with another partner. We do great community things. It's great to have you back on. Hannah is one of the spokespeople for uh, for Wise Markets. I got my scooper out. And you know how this goes, because this is, this is our big Thanksgiving thing that we're going to do here, talking turkey. But it's never complete. Without pumpkin ice cream and without cinnamon ice cream to go on the apple pie, in case you're doing mincemeat, apple pie, you got them both. These are real, and if I open them up, they're going to melt all over the place. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. You know what? Before we started recording, you showed me those ice creams. I immediately saw the pumpkin. I was just going to ask you, what what was the other flavor, bud? This is cinnamon. This, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is a secret. Now, so this looks like plain cinnamon ice cream, right? This <laughs> makes apple pie mincemeat pie, maybe even like a blueberry pie, if you like a cinnamon, very, very subtle. And, you know, I've had it on a cone. You know, if you like cinnamon, it's fine. It's a very subtle flavor, but it is perfect a la mode, you know? So I, that's mm -hmm. why I'm featuring the cinnamon. It's limited edition, as you can see. Now, you never go wrong with this. I, I started getting this about six weeks ago. I'm almost out and I'm making room for, for, for eggnog at this point. It almost looks like eggnog a little bit, but... <laughs> I'm an ice cream guy. You know, I mean, Thanksgiving, it's nice turkey and all that. I'm looking forward to the dessert, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am I I was just going to ask if you were more of a savory, savory or a sweet guy during Thanksgiving. Yes, yes, both. <laughs> yes, both? <laughs> all of it. Bring it all. Uh, you, you know, my wife and I, when my, my mother was alive and her sister came to add about 15 years ago, we had the best Thanksgiving dinner we've ever had. We have pictures of it and all this. And I can't believe we made this much food for five people. Uh, and we wind up having it <laughs> left over. But Thanksgiving is, um, I mean, it's a holiday about eating, family, getting together, making memories, all that stuff. But the, it is the holiday that food, everything's food. You have to go oh, to the yeah. supermarket in order to get involved with Thanksgiving. So I know you guys are running all sorts of specials. You'll put all my favorite things out on the end of the aisle. So I don't, <laughs> you know, and, and East Baltimore, you and I have talked about this. We do sauerkraut and kielbasa here. Uh, and the good news is Wise always has the Ostrowski from Bank Street, the perfect – I shouldn't even tell everybody that because they'll run out because sometimes they sell out of it. Uh, <laughs> I can't have that on Thanksgiving. Give me a little Thanksgiving update. I know you guys are doing a lot, a lot of things, and it's it's a big supermarket food week. It's a big family week. It's a big getting together week, but we eat, and we eat too much, and that's what, what makes it so much fun. Yeah, we actually are running our rewards program right now for Thanksgiving. I probably mentioned this in a previous episode back in October, just kind of like a little reminder for your listeners or watchers. Is that the um, one where I had to get my password to get the to, to make sure I know my? <laughs> yeah, I think that was the one, right? Yeah, but, my um, wise, we're my rewards. Okay, okay. I found it. <laughs> yeah, we're. We're running a Thanksgiving uh, rewards program, so customers can actually, you know, back in October, they could actually start earning points. Uh, but right now, up until the 24th, which I believe is Thanksgiving Day, customers can actually start redeeming those points to get, like, discounts on uh, specific items. Or if they save enough points, which is 400, uh, they can actually receive a free wise quality turkey for Thanksgiving. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm a couple days out. I got about a week, all right? <laughs> Here, here, this is mine, all right? I have spent $4,190, uh, and, and let's see how many, my wife, this is like the little timpani here, let's see, how many points do I have, you tell me, hold on, it's going, uh, it's going, it's going, 463 points! 
Free turkey. Yeah, my Free wife turkey. Shopping Congrats. Last week. I had dinner show last week. I was only like in the 350s. I wasn't uh-huh. over four, and I was like, I got to go buy some stuff. But uh, I have earned a free turkey. Yeah. Woo! Some people have called me a turkey. You know that. <laughs> So 400 gets you the turkey, right? 200, yes. you get like, you get other other discounts, right? Yeah, you can get discounts. Um, and it really just depends because we have a huge list of items. Um, but, you know, a lot of people always have questions about how our program works. Uh, so we have a website, wisemarkets.com slash holiday dash rewards. So not only can you visit that webpage on our website where you can view how that whole holiday program works, uh, but you can view an entire list of what you can get discounts on or, um, you know, if you, re- you know, if you earned 400 points, you can can also see a list of what you can actually redeem to get your free item. Well, Hannah, I, I am looking forward to Thanksgiving. It's just my wife and I this year. I, I've told you this. For Christmas, we do ham, and I, sometimes mm-hmm. I'll save my points for a ham, right? Because the yeah. ham's more important than the turkey, and I'll tell you why. We buy this giant ham for Christmas, and there's just two of us. So we eat about this much of it, and then my wife takes it, chops it all up, and we go bean soup. We, we, you know, all sorts of soups, um, um, ham and potato soup, but we do soups out of the ham and then we bag it. And then I bust it out like in March and April. I had some uh, delicious sausage and lentil soup my wife made back in September this week because soups are a winter thing for us. And uh, I got to figure out a turkey noodle or a turkey vegetable or something like that because we always have so much leftover turkey. Yeah, we actually, you know, like at my family, we always actually take like the, I guess you could say the carcass of the turkey and we'll actually kind of sneak some meat from like the rest of our family. We normally host Thanksgiving at my place. How many people are at your place? Huh? How many people at your place? Um, It normally depends. Uh, I know this year it's going to be around like 10 or 11, you know, like a small. Right, you can cook gathering. for 10 people. Cooking for 10 people, that's Thanksgiving. Cooking for two or three people, it's just we're eating Thanksgiving right up until like Christmas Eve. <laughs> but I love it because, yeah. I mean, my wife's like, well, do we want sweet potatoes? Yeah. Do we want stuffing? Yeah. Do we want potatoes? Yeah. Do we want great? <laughs> yeah, we want more great. A little more gravy, make make a little more gravy, you know, and then and then there's green beans and the casserole. Then there's the corn. We have to have corn. Then I'm like, well, we got to do like biscuits. We got to do like bread. We got to bake our own thing, right? So mm-hmm. next thing I know, we've got 48 little things all over the table and the two of us. It's like something out of a comedy, you know? We sit there and look <laughs> at all this food and say, all right, let's box up a plate for, for my son, Barry. We'll have him come over and pick some up. But mm-hmm. um, but we're we're serving Thanksgiving next week in conjunction with y'all uh, on Wednesday down at the convention center. And, um, you know, it is a season to... I, just be thankful for what you have, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, that's part of where we are at this point. And I think that's one of the reasons we're volunteering with Goodwill next week to serve your turkeys to yes. uh, less fortunate <laughs> folks here and uh, and stepping it up. Uh, Hannah Grotti's here. She is from Wise Markets. I've got my ice cream scooper. Uh, my wife is already taking the ice cream away because she's like, you take that on the set, it's going to melt. And then you won't have it when I make the apple pie next week. So, uh, and then I'll have to go buy more cinnamon ice cream, and get more points. Um, for, for you with Thanksgiving and what's on the table, you said you got 10, 11 people. Give me, give me the grotty family thing. Cause I want to see if I'm driving up to Pennsylvania and hanging out with you next week. <laughs> so normally, well, obviously you have to have the turkey and the mashed potatoes and corn. We do, we do uh, like homemade stuffing. My mom normally will make it like the day before um my wife then, takes apple like that makes an apple stuffing you know about this i've heard of that but she we puts don't, apple we don't it just sweetens it up it's nice yeah i mean but she's always picking up wild recipes my wife loves to cook so that's <laughs> it's part of the fun of the holiday I, and she'll mix something in we're traditional but then she'll always say well i found this apple i found this special squash recipe or whatever and i'll be like make it you know i'll eat it It'll be yeah <laughs> i feel it like up. also thanksgiving is a time to put like I've heard people who put like raisins in their stuffing. That's happened. I, Apples and raisins. That's true. Yeah. I, I mean, no, we just keep it classic, like a classic Thanksgiving stuffing. We'll normally have like a green veggie, either like a broccoli or a Brussels sprout um, and cranberry sauce. Uh, normally somewhat and, and normally like we'll do the big meal in the sides and all of our guests will bring like maybe like a little appetizer, like a little veggie tray or desserts. Um, but normally for like desserts, we'll have, we'll obviously have pie. Um, 
which we actually this year have an apple crumb and a pumpkin pie on our menu. Um, but you gotta I- have pumpkin. Pumpkin's mandatory. I mean, the rest of it's all maybe apple. I'm a mincemeat guy. My mom was mm-hmm. old, right? My mom died five years ago. She was born in 1919. So back oh, in the wow. 70s when I was a kid, my mother was into mincemeat pie. You, it's very hard to find a mincemeat pie now. I, I don't, I don't know that I've seen a mincemeat pie at Wise, but I'm going to be looking next week, and if I see it, <laughs> I'll feature it. You ever had mincemeat pie? No, I think that's very big over in the UK, isn't it? Yeah, yeah like, I mean, apparently, in a European like, country. Apparently, mincemeat in the old world was like mincemeat. Yeah. Um. Now it, it's much more of a raisiny. I don't know if it has pear in it, but it's very fruity. It's very rich. It's very Whoa. caramelized. It's a dark, um, it's not savory, but I mean, it's sweet, but it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's muted in its sweetness. I love minced meat pie. So I mean, it's just a very, <laughs> it's just very rare. It's far, it's hard to find. I'm going to try to find the recipe. So I, I'm, I'm, quoting the right things inside of it because I don't know if I'll be able to find it next week. There was a, a the village bake shop used to make them here. Classic mincemeat. Let's see. Um, it, it says it has delicious mix of apple, dried fruits, candy, uh, peel and minced and mixed spices. It's the spices that make it. Spi- it's like a nutmeggy cinnamony, oh. a little bit like apple, but it's was- more, it's less sweet than an apple pie. Does that make okay. sense? The way that you're describing it, it reminds me of like fruit cake, but instead of a cake, turn it into a pie. Because like yeah, fruit cake's can... terrible. Don't. Oh. <laughs> That's not my thing. You know what? what we we did get. Um. Uh. And I, I've started doing this. We have a panettone. Do you know what panettone is? P a n e t. Isn't it, that kind of like fruit cake? It's a round bread, right? Mm-hmm. And it's a little bit like fruit cake, but it's much more. Danishy and much more sort of a light fruit cake's like a rock. I mean, it's like, <laughs> I mean, it's hard, you know, you have to chew on it, right? And my mm-hmm. mother used to get the Claxton fruit cakes and the little the the, the logs, right? Mm-hmm. This is a light cake, and it has definitely um some acidity and a little bit of citrus in it, a little lemony, you know, orange okay. best kind of thing. But mm-hmm. then it does have the dried fruits in it that if I'll be honest. I had one this week and it had a little bit of a fruitcake bite to it. I mean, I, I bit into like one of the, I'm like, Oh man, that reminds me of my mother's fruitcake, but I do love panettone. It, it little, my, my guy at the, um, at the oven bird downtown made a panettone last year and he, I had him on the show. I had him on the crab cake tour mm-hmm. and cause I was such a fan. And he said that they started marinating the cherries in the brandy, like in November. <laughs> so I have to call him now. I love <laughs> holiday food, man. You get me started on this. I'll go down the I'll go down a rabbit hole. And the best part is trying new things. So I'm trying to get you to try the panettone, even if you don't like it. Um you gotta try the mincemeat pie. You said apple crumb? Apple crumb, you know, it's just like a typical apple pie, and then it's like a brown sugar cinnamon crumble on top. It's like a sandy texture. Yeah. But it adds really good flavor to it. You normally, said brown like, sugar. Those are two of my favorite things. Yeah. I mean, normally sometimes too, every once in a while we'll have shoe fly pie. No, I'm not, it's chocolate, isn't it? It's molasses. It's like I've a never molasses. Had a shoe fly pie. It's really good. I'm not a pie person, but if I ever like if if I ever had a choice to have like one pie dessert and there were no other options i like you know like this cake ice cream you can only choose a pie i'd choose shoe fly pie i just looked this up i've never had a piece of shoe fly pie i just want to say that Mm -hmm. i just looked it up and the the recipe first thing it says it is a classic pennsylvania dutch recipe yes that's what it says here (laughs) so let's see molasses pie shell brown sugar it's only brown sugar molasses it's got nothing else in it eggs that's it then there's a brown sugar crumble on top. But it doesn't have any thing in it. It doesn't have a fruit. It doesn't have a thing. No, it. no. It's it's kind of like, I can't even de- describe the texture. Is it like it, the it, stuff that's in like, a pecan pie, but without the pecans? Yeah, it's, it's like a pe- it's like a pecan, ca- pecan pie without the pecans. <laughs> I just said pecan pie. That's another idea for next week. I only eat pecan <laughs> pie this time of year, too. Uh huh. I'm about to gain weight, aren't I? Yes. <laughs> and you know what? I'm already probably ahead of you. <laughs> Hannah Grady joining us here from Wise Markets, uh, helping us out with our app. I'm up to 463 points here. Now, 
important question. And maybe you don't even have the answer because I know points will expire. Mm-hmm. Is there a chance my 463 points will expire before Christmas? I'm only asking. Maybe you don't even know the answer. Um, I, I know the points do expire. I don't really, I can't, we were just talking about this in the office the other day, but I just can't remember like how long the points will last before it expires. I better go get my turkey with this, right? Yes. All right, I'll do enough shopping between now and Christmas to earn myself <laughs> a ham as well. Uh, Hannah Grotti's here. She is Wise Markets. I have my ice cream scooper. Uh, we are doing the scoop on Thanksgiving. So sauerkraut, not a thing in central Pennsylvania. That's an East Baltimore thing, totally. Um, Sauerkraut is for New Year's Day. Like, that is the first meal that we will have on New Year's Day. All right. Some people eat that weird fish on New Year's. <sighs> No, 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 no. no. no it's I don't need seven fishes. House. I don't need any of that. Just bring me turkey, stuffing, gravy, and then I eat all vegetables. I have met a vet. You bring me carrots, I'll eat them. You bring me Brussels sprouts, broccoli. My mom taught me right. I eat my veggies the right <laughs> way. So make sure everybody's doing that out there. You go to wisemarkets.com and learn more about this, uh, in, including everything we're doing. We now have a special Wise uh, Conversations tab up at the front of Baltimore Positive. So if you want to hear from Dennis last week, Hannah this week, uh, we've also had some local folks stop by and uh, and chat with us on the Crab Cake Tour as well. We are very, very appreciative. This is the biggest time of the year. Family coming together, shopping their butts off, buying all this stuff, doing all the desserts. I mean, and if you're one of those families that does apple, pumpkin, shoe fly, mincemeat, <laughs> apple crumb, apple spice, like all of that stuff. Uh, I uh, Please send me some pictures along uh, Life's Highway. And anything else going on Thanksgiving with you? I mean, we get the, we get the weekend off. They've they moved they move the shopping now to like Monday. Black Friday's not even Black Friday anymore. I'm a little confused. It's I'm a little confused too. I mean, I always get the notifications about how like Amazon is doing stuff, like our local Targets and Walmarts are doing early Black Fridays. I mean, Black Friday really isn't considered Black Friday anymore. I mean, I know a lot of people who used to like religiously do that every Christmas. Where they get up at like five in the morning and go fight with people. And then they wait in line to get in the store. But it's really not that big. I mean, which is I mean, with with Cyber Monday, too, I know a lot of people who prefer that. And personally, for me, I I like small business Saturday. We have a lot of small businesses in our area. And, you know, you always got to give, you know, the small businesses there, you know, some love to during this holiday season. That's perfect. I'm a small business as well. So I appreciate you plugging that for me and letting everybody know. (laughs) I forgot about small business Saturday, but man, I used to I, I did it for a couple of years back when Black Friday was just. They didn't even call it Black Friday. It was the mm-hmm. special after Thanksgiving sale beginning at 6 a.m. at the Kmart. Uh, <laughs> and you get out and you bow everybody out to get a $99 television and stuff like that. Uh, I think that's gone a little wayward. I think the clicking and shopping, but please go out and support small business on Saturday. I, I appreciate you saying that. Uh, maybe I'll do a segment on that next week, small business Saturday. I probably should do that. <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. It's a Baltimore positive idea. All right, well, my ice cream has disappeared. It's back in the freezer. I promise to save you a scoop of cinnamon for the mincemeat pie. <laughs> that I will try to find next week for you. Hannah Grady is here. She is from Wise Market. She's one of their spokespeople who comes on, usually gives me recipes and stuff. You don't have any special recipe for me for Thanksgiving? Any wacky thing you do with squash or something like that? Uh, yeah, we actually just did a recipe video for leftover Thanksgiving leftover cupcakes. So it's like a turkey in it. What are you putting in that? So it's so the actual cupcake is cornbread mix. It's like a savory cupcake, okay. and then you take cranberry sauce that's like the filling and then you take mashed potatoes and you pipe it on top and then put a little bit of turkey and drizzle some gravy over it we actually just uploaded it to our website or check out our facebook page we also uploaded it there too the longer i talk to you the more i learn (laughs) (laughs) the wacky things that people will do with their thanksgiving leftovers every single year we keep it basic with the turkey and and rice soup well you know I, i i um I do business with Lexington Market. We're opening the new Lexington Market, uh, just opened a couple weeks ago. My mm-hmm. partners at Fadley's, Lexington Market's the oldest market in America, right? So it's yeah. kind of falling apart, and they built a new one next door. It's been a long time coming and overdue, and uh, we're supporting them. But Fadley's is my big crab cake sponsor. You want to order some, if you want to order some legit Maryland crab cakes for your family in Pennsylvania, go to Fadley's Seafood, <laughs> click, and you'll be very, very happy on Christmas Eve if you want to get some, some Fadley's crab cakes. But um, down in the market, there was a, a stand, and I don't even know the stand, but they were very, very famous for serving a Thanksgiving sandwich. 
Okay. And year round. So you go in there July, whenever you want. And literally, you know, I don't know what the bread they use, probably whatever you want, what kind of bread you wanted. But they would do the turkey, the stuffing, the mashed potatoes, the cranberry, like all on one sandwich. Mm-hmm. And that's the famous sandwich. Um, I think your your muffin is fascinating. Why do I show my wife this cornbread muffin? I'm looking for that's at uh, that's at Wise Markets on the on the podcast or the video cast. Where can I find that? So you can find it on our website uh, under our recipe page, or if you go to our Facebook and just go through our videos, we have that uploaded as well. All right, and I'm actually, sharing it. I'm I, gonna share, I without gonna even eating it. I sounds like something I at least want to taste. I want to try it. And you know what? I was working from home that day because we're still hybrid here in the office and our coworkers, you know, my coworkers who were able to make it got to taste it. And they said it actually wasn't that bad. They said it was pretty good. I don't know about not bad. I would say it's probably plus, you know, I mean, it's got everything you want. It's just like a full mouth of Thanksgiving food. So uh, it is Thanksgiving. Uh, We are thankful for our friends at Wise Markets and our sponsorship and our partnership for all the things that they do for us during the year, including getting me to 463 points on my app so I get a free turkey this week and giving me a chance to stretch out, learn about special corn muffin Thanksgiving things. Savory uh, Thanksgiving cupcakes. (laughs) Savory Thanksgiving cupcakes. I'm going to Google that. Hey, it's always, uh, (laughs) it's always fun hanging out with you. Appreciate you coming on again this week. Have a beautiful Thanksgiving. Eat lots of left leftovers and uh, think of me if you find a mincemeat pie and I'll think of you if I find shoe fly. Yes. And hopefully we won't suffer a the severe food coma this Thanksgiving. My mother always said I was slow as molasses back in the day. So I'm going to find out how slow (laughs) molasses are on your shoe fly pie. (laughs) Hannah Grotti joining us here from Wise Markets. We appreciate them. Make sure you're checking out our Wise Conversations out at BaltimorePositive.com. We're doing the Maryland Crab Cake Tour to kick off Thanksgiving week. We're going to be at Pappas celebrating 50 years in Cockeysville on Friday from 2 until 5. I have amazing guests coming by on Friday, including Mike Bordick, uh, who's bringing Adam Kalarik and Frank Kalarik from, I keep calling it Field of Dreams. It's League of Dreams. We'll be talking some baseball on Friday. Also, Dan Rogers from Baltimore Sun, longtime columnist and my life for friend, who's doing a stand-up act about our hometown of Baltimore. And if you love Baltimore, that's two weeks from now, but Dan will be with us on Friday. And my friend David Steele coming by. He's got a new book on race and sports and uh, America as I'm wearing my uh, American flag shirt. I am Nestor. We are WNST. AM 1570, Towson, Baltimore. We call them wise conversations, and you can find them at baltimorepositive.com.